So hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. My name is Erica and today I will be doing an update to my Pando's eyeshadows. So last month I didn't do an update because it was all kinds of crazy and then I also didn't really wear makeup last month because I had um, surgery, well not surgery, I had a procedure to remove my mole so I didn't really want anything near it or touching it because you know, it needs time to heal. So I basically neglected a good chunk of my project pans, including this project. So I decided to just reset everything. And so I'm going to be picking new shades today. Unfortunately, I didn't hit pan on any of the eyeshadows that I had chosen previously. So I feel like there's nothing really to share. And I don't think I used any shade more than five times, which is really bad. So let's just get started with the new shadows. I picked I picked it off camera so I would waste less time and there'd be less to edit. But what I basically did was I chose from four palettes that I kind of was neglecting in my collection or hadn't really been chosen in the past for this project. And then I also have a couple of singles so I did also put that in this project so that was where I chose the fifth shade from so starting with the first palette I chose my first shadow from here randomly this is the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette and the shade that I chose randomly is Want a Piece of Me which is this shadow down here and this is what it looks like it's the first shadow as you can see I have all the shadows swatched but it's just a really, really, really light lavender. I don't even think it works well on my skin tone right now. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a setting on my camera that makes me look lighter than I actually am in person. But I don't think this is really going to work for my skin tone. I might use it as a nail polish topper. Kind of like what I've done with um, another shade in here, which is this one. I really do not like this formula. It's very powdery. I don't know if you can see, but I just dip my finger in it and swirl it around to get, like, get some of the powder to put on the back of my hand for a swatch, and it just got everywhere. And for me, I expect chocolate gold quality from metallic shades from Too Faced. Unfortunately, this palette just doesn't deliver. I think the only two shadows in here that don't do that are Falling For You and Crisp, but I'm not sure. Anyway, so I have this one to work on. Here's a close-up of it. So yeah, I think this is going to be a little bit too light. My goal on all of these is basically to hit pan. So hopefully I can do that. The next eyeshadow comes from my least favorite palette in my collection. If you watched my ranking video, you'll know this came dead last. This is a Too Faced Let's Play palette, and the shade I got is called Multiplayer, and it's this pink right here. This is also really powdery for a metallic, and I'm surprised. Um, so it's this shadow right here. I don't know if you can see all the powder and my popcorn ceilings, but yeah, it's um, hello. <laughs> it's a metallic shade, and if I hold it this way, you can see it better. I like the color, but the formula is a little bit concerning. I'm worried that it's prone to fall out. But this one swatched a lot better than the first shade. I'm not sure if it's because the first shade is just a lot lighter, so it doesn't show up on me, or if it's just this formula is actually better. It is this shade right here. It's a pretty color, and I'm sure I can use it a lot with the third color I picked. I'm just concerned about fallout. The third shadow I picked comes from the That's My Jam palette by Too Faced. I bought this palette for the color story and I bought the other palette for the packaging, which in hindsight was terrible, but it's really cute and I feel like I'm probably going to save this packaging to repress things into anyway, so I mean, I'm not returning it because first off it's too late and secondly, I feel like that's really wasteful and it's kind of like a lesson to myself. Don't buy palettes for the packaging anymore. 
But anyway, I don't like the packaging on this. I really like the color story inside. Well, the first four shades at least. So the shadow I picked is called Spread It, which is the first shadow. And I'm so happy because it is one of the first four shades, as I would call it. I'm holding it upside down, so normally if you open it, it looks like this, but I don't want to flash you guys, so it's upside down. And it's this pink right here. I've swatched it. So obviously the uh, second and the third shadows look really good together. So that's probably how I'm going to pair it. Um, maybe I could even use the first shadow. I'm like, maybe not. <laughs> maybe I can even use this first shadow in this look if I, you know, use a little bit of this purple in my eyeshadow look. So I'm happy with that. These are pretty good colors for now because we're approaching summer. And so I want to get as much use out of these spring shades um, before, you know, June. <laughs> oh my god. My birthday's in less than a month. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna do. So the fourth and final palette that I decided to put in this project because I felt like I was neglecting it is the Persona Identity, oh, I guess, Persona Cosmetics Identity 2 palette. And I bought Identity 2 because I felt like I already had enough shadows from the first palette, like enough dupes in my collection. So this one, Honestly, I already have dupes for it too within my chocolate gold palette, but I felt like this one would, was more unique than the first one because this is a little bit more colorful. So, okay, maybe if I hold it like this. This is what my palette looks like. It's pretty much new. I've only used like two shades in here, which is the gold and the green, which I just swatched. So I did get the green shadow here, which is called Driven. I would say, yeah, I am pretty driven. Um, so that's perfect. <laughs> so yeah, I have, I thought I had the gold on today, but I don't. So I'm going to be working on this green. I feel like with a green like this, um, I would pair it with a brown, but my problem with wearing green is this dark are that it looks really muddy on me so I can't really wear it as a matte but as a metallic shade like what this is as you can see it's a bit reflective it works perfectly fine so yeah I have a green that's like this color but it's matte and it looks so bad on me and the last shadow that I have comes from my singles so I have how many singles do I have I have 14 singles. One of them is just like a, I guess like a cream color. So I wouldn't really use that one anyway, but I didn't even roll it in. So it doesn't matter. This palette contains all my singles from Sydney Grace. I have another palette of singles from Too Faced that I depotted. So hello, this is a few days after I filmed my intro or my re-roll for my pan those eyeshadows. So I figured I would also include this palette because I have not edited that video yet. So this is the Pixie and Tina Young palette. I actually just picked this up earlier today. I was at Target uh, getting some just necessities, I guess. And I actually rolled shade number 25, which is down here. I decided to include this palette in because I want to play with it. So yeah, like I said, I rolled shade number 25, so let's swatch it. I just opened it. I don't know how to swatch. Okay, so that's what that shade looks like. It looks like it's going to be a little bit tough to work with um, because as you can see, it didn't <laughs> really pass over my the back of my hand that well. You can see like three little lines where the eyeshadow clumped. I only really like found out about this palette because I was at Target and I happened to be right next to the pixie display for I think w way too long and I saw this and I was like wow I would actually use every color here so I picked it up and yeah so shade number 25 I don't even know if it has a shade name oh it does after dark six shades to work on thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for understanding that you know, progress has been really slow with my project pans for the past 
month or so because of just unforeseen circumstances. I might make a video later on explaining, but right now I just don't feel comfortable um, talking about it, but it's been a crazy ride. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in a month. Bye.